Welcome back. We've escaped from Scumsoft, but as we found out last time, we're not quite out of the woods yet. Because they've disabled the light speed. Those jokers back on Pestilon must have tempered with the light speed, Fingermajik. And they're sending uh, ships after us, so we'd better get to attack speed and use the weapon systems. Now, this isn't actually hard, I was just unlucky last time. What you need to do is watch the target display in the bottom left and simply uh, make sure that you keep the sh uh, shields where it says the target is. Warning, short range fighters approaching from rear. Weapons lock on detected. It says from rear now, so um, I already have the shields on the rear. I'll show the help here. When the enemy ship comes from behind, you will automatically begin tracking. Use the direction keys or mouse to move the car target crosshairs onto the target. When you are locked on, use the space bar to fire. Well, that seems pretty simple. Well, let's wait until those fires catch, uh, fighters caps up. catch up. Okay, so they move to the front. And we shoot them. No target right now, but the next one will be from the rear, so I'm gonna switch my tar uh, my shields again. We need to do about three of these, I think. And they're not that hard. Okay, shields back to the rear. Wait for another target to show up. Switch the shield again. Oh, and he wandered right in my line of fire. Ooh. <laughs> that was a little bit too uh, quick on the switching there. Fortunately, I managed to switch back. I realized my error before it was too late. Gotcha again! Haha! <laughs> More? I guess so. I thought it was only three, but apparently there's more of them. Haha. The remaining enemy ships have given up and are heading back to the planet. It looks like you were just too much for them. But we still have this slight problem that our light speed is not working. Okay, let's switch this off. Hmm. And press F6 for cockpit view. We have maximum points now. Man, oh man, you really showed those bozos a thing or two. Now can we get something to eat? Oh, we could go back to Monolith Burger, if our light speed was working. You inform the two guys that light speed is no longer functional. They're not overly pleased by this piece of news. Yes, because space, you know, is big. Really, really big. You just wouldn't believe how big it is. If you think of something really big, well, space is even bigger than that. So without light speed, we're not getting anywhere. This was a paraphrase from the Hitchhiker's Guide, in case you didn't notice. What? No, I'll never get any food. Some rescuer you are. Well, thanks for tr <laughs> Thanks, we tried at least. Hey, uh, what's this thing on the wall? It says, Light Speed Maintenance Access Panel. Gee, maybe I can fix this bucket of plaster bolts. He's not, on not just a programmer, he... Uh, also an engineer. Yeah, this is it. This fan belt thing came off the round thing it was on. Just a second. Apparently... Okay, she's all fixed. Let's go grab a burger. Apparently, fixing a spaceship is no more difficult than fixing a car. Too late you realize that you have no course laid in. The light engines kick in before you can override. You inform the two guys that light speed is now functional, but it's out of control. They're not overly pleased with this bit of news, either. Ah! We're gonna die! Oh no! When did I get up this morning? 
Mommy! Careening blindly through space, your ship speeds towards a sizable black hole. Once within the gravitation of the black hole, there's no escape. You plunge into destiny. Hey, is that the black hole from the postcard? I guess so. Is this game gonna end on another cliffhanger like Space Quest 2? Sure hope not. The overwhelming force of the black hole draws your ship in. Helpless to do anything, and your, you and your passengers strap in and hope for the best. You enter blacklist, blackness like no other you've ever experienced. All sense of time and speed are lost. Suddenly, a bright light becomes visible in the distance. It grows larger as your ship races toward it. Finally, you are hurled out of the blackness into a parallel universe. Yes, because that's what black holes do. They take you to parallel universes. You cut the engines to stop light speed as you near a seemingly habitable planet. Hey, I recognize that planet. It looks strangely familiar. You get one guess as to where he's gonna land. Right in front of the Sierra offices. Greetings, Earthling! We are the two guys from Andromeda, universally famous software authors. And I'm Roger Wilco, space age swashbuckler and all around nice guy. Sure, you are. Hello, I'm uh, Ken Williams, president and founder of Sierra Online. So, you two guys are software authors, eh? What are your credits? Ever heard of Astro Chicken? No! Good. How about you two guys coming to work for me? Sounds great! How many Buckazoids does it pay? Buckazoids? Say, uh, Mr. Williams, do you need a janitor? No. As our space saga comes to a close, Roger, feeling a little left out, struts off to his ship with the satisfaction of knowing its mission has been accomplished. And they just send him away. They don't even thank him or offer him a cup of coffee. The two guys from Andromeda go on to create the Space Quest series of adventure games, reaping fame and fortune. They grow fat in their success and soon become burnt out and begin a drunken tailspin into oblivion. Sure. And so, we bid our hero a fond farewell as his ship once again bursts into light speed. Course unknown. The end! Of course, it's not really the end. Because there is, in fact, a sequel. There's, in fact, three more sequels. Well, that's, uh... The third Space Quest game, again, pretty short. I mean, I never really realized how short these games were until I started making videos of them. Still, Space Quest 3 is probably one of my favorite uh, entries in the series, tied with number 4. It's where the game really um, hits its stride with all the sci-fi references and wacky humor. And it's just a fun game. So, I have a lot of fond memories of this game. I think it's probably the first Space Quest game I ever played. But, we will continue this saga next time in Space Quest 4, Roger Wilco and the Time Rippers, which is also one of my favorites and well worth waiting for. So, see you then.